As you can see, as overall, as a company, we returned to growth in the fourth quarter, including uh, in the U.S. The only region where we didn't grow in the fourth quarter was Europe. Uh, we expect uh, the opening rate to continue now in the first and the second quarter. And as our guidance, we expect strong growth in both uh, markets. Overall, we expect double-digit growth uh, for the company in 2021. And we expect a sequential opening in Europe. U.S. continues to be strong. And the U.S., we've outperformed the competition now for four years in a row. So we are seeing a sequential opening. But we've been able to offset that by an exceptionally strong e-commerce business. And in terms of consumer behaviour after the pandemic, how has it changed? I know that we've talked a lot in recent um, earnings uh, interviews about the shift to the online channel. But beyond just that, are you seeing consumers behave differently about what they're buying and how they're buying? Maybe first on the online, we have seven-folded our online business in more than four years. So huge that Ford and our online business now would make us the fourth largest sports company in the world just alone our online business. But we continue to see the trend again you know, towards at leisure and we don't see really a slowdown on that. And we're very, very you know, confident that the shopping will increase for overall sportswear when the stadiums are opening up. So when you see the increase in vaccines in the UK and hopefully an opening of the stadiums you know, throughout the year, we'll continue to see, we expect a very strong recovery in sport and the overall at least a trend will continue. So we are very optimistic. You know, and also in the first quarter, we're seeing strong double digit, strong, strong double digit growth in the first quarter, despite, you know, the closure rate in Europe. Kasper, I'm curious as to what part of or what portion of sales e-commerce will make up eventually because some feel as though this is just the first wave of change that we're witnessing in this trend uh, towards uh, mostly online sales. Do you have a view yet uh, as you know, demand washes back into stores? Where do you think that total sales on e-commerce will settle? So I have a very strong view and we have a very concrete view, which we'll express today at, you know, at noon European time when we disclose our new strategy. But if you look upon without giving you the number at this stage, we have to ask for your, your you know, I would say uh, patience to wait. Uh, we do see that uh, digital and the digital transformation and our leadership in sustainability will be two really important pillars moving forward. But a big, big part of our growth is going to continue to come from our, from our e-commerce. You know, last, alone in the last two years, we have gained more than 160 million members on our apps. So it's a huge, huge success for Adidas. OK, well, I'll stay poised then for, for the number next time, Casper. Let me ask you about inventory because <laughs> the next uh, demand challenge, I think, for, for many retailers is going to be what comes back as you see those stores reopen and people can spend some stimulus checks. What do you think? Because you're sitting on this healthy inventory level in the final quarter, it sounds like you're preparing for a big wave. We've taken the inventory level down by 800 million from the end of the second quarter until the end of the fourth. We're well positioned from an inventory standpoint. And if you look upon our growth you know, uh, expectation in uh, the mid to high uh, double digit teens uh, for this year, we need inventory to satisfy demand. So we have a very good inventory position, which we need, because we do believe that when the stores will open up, I think there is a pent up demand for people simply, not only shopping, but having a social experience again. So we're well positioned you know, to really deliver against the promise from, from you know, to deliver a strong year in 2021. Casper, so we're very optimistic, as you can see. We think it's going to be a great year for sport.